Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Custom Drops plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to really easily customize drops for blocks and mobs in a GUI in your server. So I've got an example here, I've customized the pigs drops and if we give them a couple of whacks we will see what happens. First of all there's a firework, you can turn that on or off if you want. But you can see there are loads of other goodies that he drops, so golden apples, ores, and Chapman book, etc. So you can really set anything for this plugin. As you can see, we just got a ton of good stuff. Um, probably shouldn't set it like this in your server, but just an example, that's how it works. So if we do 4 slash C drops, that's going to open the GUI, and there's a few different sections. So if we go on the right to the global settings, we can set a few different things here. Down at the bottom we can disable or enable certain worlds for this plugin. Then if we go back to the previous menu hitting the orange button, we can disable AFK farms to stop people kind of abusing this plugin and getting just a ton of items. Then up at the top we've got fortune and looting so we can increase or decrease the percentage chance for that. So obviously increase by one by hitting the green and take away one by hitting the red and then you can hover over the paper and see what the looting chance actually is. So let's click edit a mob and as you can see there is a long list of all the mobs over multiple pages and all you're going to do is find the one you want to edit. So we edited a pig earlier and then we can obviously toggle vanilla drops on or off so it'll be obviously green for on, red for off. And then in the middle hitting the gold ore we can edit the custom drops and here they are. So what we can do is actually go into each of these and then customize them on their own. So we've got loads of different information here that we can edit. So let's go ahead and grab some items and we're going to edit a brand new mob, so maybe sheep. So if we do 4 slash C drops, uh, we're going to go to edit mob. We are going to try and find where sheep is. It's probably on the other page. So where is sheep? There's a sheep. So first of all, we are going to toggle vanilla drops. We can make sure that's off. Then go into custom drops and there's already a few things in here. Uh, so up at the top right, click add new item and then click the item you want to add. So we have to do this multiple times to get all three axes in there. There we go. And then let's click the iron axe to edit it. So first of all, we can edit the drop worlds list so it can override the global settings if you really want, yes or no. We've got the current drop chance, which is 0.1%, currently zero now. And then if we just hit increase by 10%, we can change it to 70 or 80, for example. Then down at the bottom, do you want this to happen when it's a spawner drop, an egg drop, or a breeding drop, yes or no, or natural drop, so you can take these all off or on. The drop effect, that's the firework, and then the color, that is the color of the firework. So there we go, we've set it to purple, and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the golden axe, so let's increase the chance, turn all of these on, we've got a 60% chance for that one. Here is a diamond axe, so we're gonna increase it to maybe 50%, turn these all on, and let's go ahead and change the color to blue for the firework. Let's go back. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start hitting mobs. So here is a sheep. So if we give him a whack, we are going to see a blue firework and we've got the diamond axe. So that is obviously the chance. So we didn't get the other two items. We only got that one. But if I spawn 10 sheep and we give them a few whacks, we can see loads of different color fireworks, meaning we've got all the different types of axe that we set up. So we've got iron, gold, and diamond in this case. And that is how easy it is to just customize whatever mobs you want. Obviously you don't have to have the fireworks on, I just left them on for this tutorial. You probably want to turn them off in your server. So that's how you would edit a mob, but you can also edit blocks. So let's go ahead and edit a block here. So I've grabbed some wood, and if we go ahead and click add new block top right, click the wood block, and then we can edit it. So let's toggle off vanilla drops first of all, we're going to go into custom drops. And then we are going to click add new item and let's just add raw chicken for the fun of it. And we are going to increase the chance by 100%. So every time you chop down a tree, you will get a piece of chicken for every piece of wood. And let's turn on place drop. So if the player's placed it, do you want the drop to happen? Yes or no? Probably a bit overpowered. Then you can obviously change the color of the firework. And all we need to do now is pop down some wood or just find some wood and then give it a few wax and there we go. So we've got a red firework and raw chicken coming out of wood once we destroy it, which is pretty strange. Um, I wouldn't recommend you set it like that, but that is just something you can do with it. So I'm going to turn off the firework. This is probably how you want it set for your server. And then if we go over to this tree over here, you can see all it's going to do now is just drop raw chicken and there's not going to be um, a random firework. 
So that is how the plugin works. It's super easy to set up. It's just really fantastic and very well made. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there is a single config.yml. So if we have a look in here, all it's going to be is just all the information we set in game. It's just going to store all the data, so everything that's set to true and false, all the different items that are going to drop, all good stuff like that. So there's really nothing you need to edit out of the game. It's just using that awesome GUI and changing whatever you want. So here we are on the Spigot page, and as you can see, it's updated from 1.13 to 1.16. Um, if you do have any issues, make sure you contact the developer. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.